what is up bros and welcome back we got some brand new spicy stuff for you today to slap with so let's get right into it if you do enjoy this video then please consider subscribing it is free it really helps the channel and if you don't like the next content you can always change your mind also g fuel has made code broth 30 percent off until the 12th so if you would like to check it out i'll leave the link down below up first, we have the 9000 IQ hard breach trick that you can do on border that Gustus and Josh showed me, and you're going to be able to get into offices even when the walls are electrified. We're also on the hunt for some spots on where we can pull this off on other maps, but if you can think of any, then let me know. Anyways, this trick is going to work kind of like the old school thermite trick where you place the charge on the floor next to an electrified wall, but this time we're actually using the new location of the door that's on top east on border to do it vertically and this can be done with both ace and thermite if you do do it with ace you need to make sure that it's like far far on the left hand side if you just throw it somewhere on the left hand side of the door it's not going to get the result that you want 100 percent of the time the easiest is definitely with thermite and with thermite you can even make it a hole that's big enough to crawl through so it's really going to throw some defenders off guard Up next is the new method on how to do the double mirror stack trick for any site on border. There are some other spots that are going to work around the game, but you're going to need some environmental things to line up. First up, you need to have something within reach of the wall that you can slightly elevate yourself on. This can be anything from a hatch, a luggage bag, or even a black and yellow cable speed bump thing that you're going to see later on in the video. Once you notice that you're taller than just regularly standing on the ground, then you're going to be able to place your mirror really high up and then all you're going to need to do is either shotgun out the floor, stone or tile, whatever it is. And then you're actually going to become like an inch shorter and you can just crouch and place it right underneath of the other one. Now this one up here in the small office or armory desk upstairs, you're going to need to place the first one on the right hand side and then the second one on the left hand side. And like I said, there is a way to do this on every single site on border. Just keep an eye out for the two requirements that you need in order to pull this off and you'll be able to find even more. Now, if you don't feel like setting up a double mirror stack, just a regular mirror on the East Archives wall or a Valcam will help you get this next easy C4 to get a free kill on anybody that's droning top East or stopping the push through the office window. You can either ping the window to line this up or just stand on the south corner of the bomb and look up. Your crosshair is going to be slightly left of the tip of the opening above the reinforced wall. And then all you're going to need to do is walk forward and let the C4 go. Jumping over to Clubhouse, we have this angle that goes from bar all the way to kitchen on anyone trying to get close to the hatch. This is a pretty crazy roamer angle that you can set up and then just come back to later on if it's not safe. And it's pretty easy to set up with a Rooney or any shotgun, but technically you can do this with anyone. If you know your sides are clear, then even just sitting here holding the angle is pretty safe because it is so difficult to see even when there's an ACOG on attack. All right, now giving some love to the thermite. Now, if they don't get killed from that last angle, you can use this trick on any hatch that's by a soft floor and if it has an electrical on it. You can simply use any gun to just shoot out the top layer of the floor and then simply drop a nade in there to get rid of an electrical that's placed anywhere underneath. I saw this first on King George's stream, so huge shout out to his big brain for this one. This next trick was tweeted at me from Bursa FPS. So really nice find with this lineup. This is a cam that's really hard to take out until you're actually in the room. So unless you have a Twitch or a Sam cam, this is a camera that usually stays up till later in the game. Being able to take this out early, way before the push or the top room clear is really, really helpful.
Now going over to Canal, we have a quick invisible cam that you can do for insane views across almost the entire top floor, as well as a line of sight that actually goes into pillar box that attackers can't see based on the objects that are going to be in the way. This camera is going to be able to see the feet of anybody entering pillar box, which you could use for pre-play C4s, pre-fires, or whatever else you can think of. There's a ton of helpful intel that comes from this, all while attackers won't be able to see it. Now over on cafe we have a did you know trick where did you know instead of just breaking the floor and mining to get pretty obvious lines of sight that defenders are going to shoot back at you can actually break the floor inside the mining machine and have the metal bars protect you while blocking defenders lines of sight so it's really hard to look up and even see you. You can see here that even when I shoot back I can't really tell where I'm aiming at and I'm just constantly shooting the metal bars. Unless I get a pretty lucky C4 or the attacker completely whiffs it's going to be pretty easy for the attackers to get kills on anybody crossing this area. Up next is a sick setup that I learned from a Zyronic stream and while it might look simple at first glance there's actually a lot going on here. You can open up the bottom of the bar with a shotgun but this material is kind of harder to open than compared to just a regular wall so an impact grenade works best here. After that you can shoot out the bottom of the wall between the hall and the bar and you'll now have an angle that's relatively safe to peek and hold as a defender. You can see to the left of the jukebox plus the hatch. Now, like I said at the start, this is a little bit more intricate than what you might think at first glance. While the defender is on the stairs, only their shoulders and head will be visible from up above in the bar, and the counter of the bar, as well as the top shelf, just happen to be indestructible. So whether you C4 or impact this spot, those shelves are still going to be there. These just happen to be blocking this exact spot where the defender will be perfectly. Whether you're standing up or crouching as an attacker, there's going to be a shelf in your way blocking your line of sight that's lined up perfectly and in order to even see the defender on the stairs you have to be standing or crouching in the perfect spot which the chances of that are going to be pretty small this pretty much guarantees that the defender will at least get some damage on the attacker before they realize what's going on and if the attacker dies to this then their fist is going to just go through their monitor now next up is the parkour way that we can use flores most people think that his drone is pretty limited when it comes to how you can move it but did you know that you can actually do multiple jumps up the little spikes that stick through the reinforced walls? This allows you to get your drones in really unexpected spots to increase your chance of clearing utility or even defenders before it gets taken out. From all the testing I did, this does work on every single reinforced wall in the game as long as you have an opening at the top. Keep in mind that Flores' drone won't actually break the weird random like wooden designs that you'll find on some walls in the game like the ones on Archives and Border. So you will need to either shoot them out or drive your default drone through them first. And that's another good thing to keep in mind. Default drones can also do this too. If you find yourself wanting to do this on a wall that doesn't have like that top soft part above it, then working together with a Habana will allow you to do this on literally any reinforced wall in the game. That's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. I'll see you all very soon. I love you all. Peace.